good day everyone myself riti mishra today we will discuss ncert class 9th science chapter 1 matter in our surroundings part 2 in my last video i discussed about physical nature of matter and concluded that matter is made up of particles and the particles of matter are very small now in this video we are going to discuss characteristics of particles of matter the first characteristics of particles of matter is particles of matter have space between them to prove this statement we have to recall our last videos activity 1 and 2 in activity 1 we saw that we have dissolved the sugar or salt into the water and we observed that sugar or salt got evenly distributed in water in our activity 2 of last video we saw that particles of dettol or potassium permanganate got evenly distributed in water similarly when we make tea coffee or lemonade or we can say nimbu pani particles of one type of matter get into the spaces between particles of the other this shows that there is enough space between particles of matter the second characteristic of particles of matter is particles of matter are continuously moving to prove this statement again we will perform some activities in activity 1 first we will put a unlit incense stick in a corner of our classroom or room how close do you have to go near it so as to get its smell now light the incense stick what happens do you get the smell sitting at a distance we will observe that when incense stick was unlit we have to go near to get its smell when we light the incense stick we get the smell sitting at a distance because when we light the incense stick its particles changes from solid to gaseous state and in gaseous state particles of matter are continuously moving more faster as compared to the solid state in our second activity we will take two beakers filled with water now we will put a drop of blue or red ink slowly and carefully along the sides of the first beaker and honey in the same way in the second beaker now we will leave them undisturbed in a corner and record the observations what do you observe immediately after adding the ink drop and what do you observe immediately after adding a drop of honey we will observe that after immediately adding the ink it start to dissolve but honey takes time then how many hours or days does it take for the color of ink to spread evenly throughout the water we observe that ink drop take very short time to spread evenly throughout the water nearby few seconds while honey takes more time to spread nearly few minutes it means particles of ink moves faster than honey because honey is more denser than ink in our third activity we will drop a crystal of copper sulfate 
और पोटेशियम पर मैगनेट इन टू ए ग्लास ऑफ हॉट वाटर नाउ वी विल ड्रॉप ए क्रिस्टल ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट इन टू एन अनादर ग्लास कंटेनिंग कोल्ड वॉटर वी विल नॉट स्टैर द सोल्यूशन एंड अलाउ द क्रिस्टल्स टू सेटल एट द बॉटम वी विल ऑब्जर्व दैट द रेट ऑफ मिक्सिंग चेंजेस विद टेम्परेचर कॉपर सल्फेट क्रिस्टल्स मिक्सेस फास्टली इन हॉट वाटर वाइल्ड इट मिक्सेस स्लोली इन कोल्ड वाटर by these three activities we can conclude that particles of matter are continuously moving they possesses the kinetic energy as the temperature rises particles move faster so we can say that with increase in temperature the kinetic energy of the particles also increases we also observe that particles of matter intermix on their own with each other they do so by getting into the spaces between the particles as we observe in our surrounding that particles of matter are continuously moving and they possess kinetic energy particles of matter intermix on their own with each other this intermixing of particles of two different types of matter on their own is called diffusion for example diffusion of ink or honey in water or diffusion of smell of incense stick in the room or diffusion of smell of hot sizzling food in the kitchen and rooms on heating particles get more kinetic energy and the diffusion becomes faster as we seen in last activity copper sulfate crystals diffused faster in hot water and slowly in cold water the third characteristic of particles of matter is particles of matter attract each other particles of matter have force acting between them this force keep the particles together the strength of this force of attraction varies from one kind of matter to another to prove this again we will perform some activities from our day to day life first we will take an iron nail and try to break it by hammering we will observe that it is very difficult to break it by hammering because the particles are held together with greater force and this force keeps the particles together that's why we can say that particles of matter attract each other in our next activity we will take a rubber band and try to stretch it as we apply the force rubber band will stretched but as we remove the force again it comes back to its former position here also particles of rubber band are held together with an attraction force which keeps the particles together by this activity again we can say that particles of matter attract each other to perform this activity go to your kitchen and open a water tap now try to break the stream of water with your fingers are you able to cut the stream of water your answer will be no the reason behind the stream of water remaining together is again the attraction force between the particles or in other words we can say that particles of matter attract 
each other that's why it is not possible to break the stream of water so our today's topic characteristics of particles of matter can be summarized in three main points first particles of matter have space between them second particles of matter are continuously moving third particles of matter attract each other on the basis of today's explanation i am providing you some exercise questions to apply your knowledge first question is give reasons for the following observation the smell of hot sizzling food reaches you several meters away but to get the smell of cold food you have to go close why second question is a diver is able to cut through water in a swimming pool which property of matter does this observation show third question is what are the characteristics of the particles of matter you can give your answers in comment box so friends give your suggestions in comment box like the video share the video and subscribe my youtube channel if it is beneficial for you thank you